Kim Potter, the former Brooklyn Center, Minnesota police officer convicted of manslaughter in the shooting death of Dante Wright, has been sentenced to 16 months in prison and eight months of supervised release. The sentence is a significant downward departure from sentencing guidelines in the case. Managing partner at the Cochrane firm, Shauna Lloyd, is back to help us break it down. Shauna, we heard the judge today referring a lot to the fact that this was a mistake and that it's undisputed that Kim uh, Potter did not intend to kill Dante Wright. But she was convicted of manslaughter one and two, which don't indicate an intent to kill. So why was that such an important point to bring up? And how was this case so unique compared to other manslaughter cases? You know, it's interesting, Diane. I thought I was listening to her make and reiterate that point that this was unintentional. But that's the point that and the reason why she was charged with manslaughter. Manslaughter does not require any form of intent. And that was the way those guidelines were written, already accounting for the lack of intention on the part of the defendant, Kim Potter in this case. So I thought it was interesting that the judge was that was a sticking point for her when she knows as well as we all do that there's no intent required, but you can still be charged with this reckless act that causes a death. The judge actually got emotional toward the end of the sentencing hearing today. We saw her actually tear up and stop for a second to kind of collect herself. How unusual is that? Quite unusual. I have not seen a judge become emotional during a sentencing in that manner um, in my time in the courtroom. So I, I was very taken aback by it. And I was very taken aback about the fact that it wasn't that she was emotional throughout the trial. She wasn't emotional throughout the sentencing. She was very clear that after talking about the letters, talking about Kim, that is the point in which she became emotional. So I found that a very interesting point uh, with this particular judge. And she did say that she not only heard from the prosecution and the defense today, as well as family members, Dante Wright's family members, uh, and heard the defense read off some excerpts of letters uh, written on behalf of Kim Potter. But the judge also mentioned that she herself read hundreds of letters written on Potter's behalf and that those were particularly moving to her. How much of a decision like this is actually made outside of the courtroom? You know, we have to remember, and this is why it's very important to exercise your right to vote or to be involved in the political process, but these judges are individuals. And things like that can affect a judge when they come down to sentencing. And judges do have that level of discretion and they can make those type of impacts on our judicial system. So see, hearing this judge talk about all of the things that impacted her, the letters that came and that it impacted her so significantly, she brought up the other trials that have happened. You know, this judge clearly was looking at a lot of things outside of this particular case when she made this sentencing determination. And how often do judges depart from a sentencing guidelines, and not just in general, but to this degree where you go from the presumptive sentence of uh, almost uh, just over seven years down to 24 months? I haven't seen a departure this significant in this type of a case with this level and magnitude of a crime. You know, I can't think of the last time I've seen it. I was actually quite taken aback. I did not expect Kim Potter to get the full sentence, but the level of downward departure in this particular case was very significant. All right. Shauna Lloyd, always great to have your analysis. Shauna, thank you. Always a pleasure, Diane. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.